Hello fellow furniture dorks, this is Teresa at the Rave Home Collection. And I am Melissa Morrow with Rave Home Staging. And today is our thrift haul Wednesday, which again was hauled, minus me, but this lady hauled, and boy did she haul. Yeah, I so. went thrifting yesterday. Um, I didn't have any meetings in the morning, and I had been busy all weekend, so I figured I better get that show on the road and, mm -hmm. and hit up my favorite Goodwill, which was the one over on San Jose. Which was my Goodwill. Was this all from there? This was all from there. Oh, dude, what a score. She's so, got a lot of good stuff. It was Wednesday, or Tuesday, excuse me, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure this happens every Tuesday, so I'm gonna pay attention. Mm -hmm. um, all the green tickets were half off. Okay, they pick a color, I think, or yeah. whatever. Yeah, I don't know if it's every Tuesday that there's a okay. color. Um, I'm sure they do ticketing each week or something, like a different color mm -hmm. each week, and that's how they decide. Yeah. Um, so if it's been there a while, they're making it on sale. And then I had a full punch card you get um, oh. for every twenty dollars that you spend, you get you get a little stamp mm -hmm. on the card, and when you get ten stamps, um, so when you spend two hundred dollars, mm -hmm. you get a card for twenty percent off. And then I, you rethink your whole life that you realize you spent two hundred bucks at a Goodwill, like me. And so um, anyway, so everything that was green, I got fifty percent off on, and everything else, I got twenty percent off on. Sweet, very nice. So it's like you got a lot. I, I just I'm picking up my favorite little guy. Look at him. He's a hedgehog with a party hat. How could someone make him home? He's a got a party hat. I love him. He's just gonna stay over here with me. He's yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I don't think he needs to be painted. I don't I, either. I, I think he just needs he's to be cleaned up a little. He's in great shape. I mean, he's precious. He paid two ninety nine for him. Nine ninety nine. Yeah. I mean, I think he's just yeah. adorable. He's yeah, so cute. He's, he's so as you can see, I made out on the candlesticks. Candlesticks. You know, they ranged all over the place. This one was three ninety nine less twenty percent. This one was nine ninety nine less twenty percent. This one was four ninety nine less twenty percent. Um, yeah, I mean five ninety nine red. This is a nice one too. Ugh. That's a big one. This was six ninety nine. It's a white tag. Yeah, that's a nice size. Four ninety nine, and then there's a couple other little ones. So clearly, we'll be painting some candlesticks. <clears throat> Which is good because we've been selling a lot of candlesticks. Yeah, and it's fun, like we've talked about before. If you get five or six of different ones, you know, different sizes, different shapes, different colors, paint them all the same and put them out in a grouping, and people tend to gravitate more towards that. And then you've got yourself a sale. So, um, some of the things that I got that a lot of people don't know what to do with, and I'm going to give credit to Artsy Mad Woman on YouTube for my idea on this, is that um, a lot of this silver was 50% off. Mm -hmm. So this one was $2.99, 50%, so it made it $1.50. Oh, um, this one was $3.99, so it made it $2. So this one, $3.99. This is $2.99, and it wasn't half off, but it's still um, it's for $2.99. I think it was a bargain. Um, $6.99 for this, so nice three, size. So three and a half bucks. Mm -hmm. and, um, and for all of these, um, that's heavy. Yeah, $1.99. So this makes it a buck. $1.99 makes it a buck. $2.99. That's so heavy. So $1.50. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for these, um, and then I've got those little ones there. Yeah. For almost all of these, not all, all of them, but most all of these, mm -hmm. I'm actually going to do resin pours in them. Super cute idea. So I'm going to do a quick video this week um, on doing the resin pours in these. I'm just going to line them out. Okay. And pour, 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 pour. Leave them here to dry overnight. Perfect. And then they'll be great in the morning when we come back and we can tag them and get them on the floor. Perfect. Um, but those have been selling really well too. Mm -hmm. And so I thought for cute little vessels, like they don't always have to be in a mold. You can just pour them into things. Oh, for sure. Like, I don't know if you saw the seashell one that we did. Those, we've only got like two left, I think. I think Maybe two. only one. Yeah, but I've only seen the one. Yeah. That's cute. Was that a butter dish at one point? Or what it looks this? like it was a butter dish. A nice little vessel for resin pouring as well. Right? Yeah, either that or a gravy bake set on it, one or the other. Great. So I'm just going to do resin pours on those. These as well? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and they'll become cute little trinkets. So Probably this one too, or is that not deep enough? Um, no, I probably will actually, a little okay. dish. And so um, you'll see those in a future video, but uh, I think they'll be great sellers. Cute. Who's this little guy? Isn't he cute? There was so clearly, clearly guy. a house that collected monkeys was was donated. Yeah. Designer thing in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, it's part of all the Tommy Bahama. For sure. And the same thing with all these little glass dishes. I'm gonna do the same thing. So this was like a condiment server, two ninety nine, uh, two ninety nine. And there's two of these little fan ones, which were also two ninety nine. Oh, sweet. 
what the these are all going to be. Idea. Most of these I'm going to actually make little. Um, okay. So these will be like bathroom ring dishes. Okay. Would that be for like a bridal shower gift or like a wedding party gift? Mm -hmm. you just do a bunch of different ones. And then and... I've got a glass, a little glass flower one, kind of the same idea. Cute. 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 All right, I'm eyeballing this box over here because I love wood boxes. What did you pay for this? $2.99. I love the wood on this. It's just a cute little, are you gonna paint that? Yeah, I think we'll paint the box. Yay, okay. Um, just a little, um, like a little shelf, what do you call the sconce, bubble. Mm -hmm. uh, three nice find those. $3.99. This one is small. I think it actually is just really pretty. Um, maybe if we took the hook off as a bookend, to be honest. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. I think I actually like it better as a little Other sitter than, than actually going on the wall. It's a size good for that for mm -hmm. a bookend. I think so. All right. Got your little metal tin. Or metal, metal tin. So this was $3.99 half off, so it was $1.50. Uh, I just think the pattern in it is going to be really pretty. And these are good sometimes if we do gift baskets and things mm -hmm. like that. So yep. they're great for that. We actually have one of these in our bathroom. Uh, oh, here at the where shop. I've seen it before. <laughs> yeah, this isn't that one, but we okay. have one just like it. And we just put our paper towels, mm -hmm. um, like the stack paper towels, yeah. in here in the bathroom so you can just grab and I knew that looked familiar. Yeah. I was like, huh. Saki. I didn't know what this was until Miss Sue said what that was. I tried to smell. It doesn't smell like anything, but it's cute. $2.99 for the bottle. It's a neat And bottle. half off, so buck yeah. fifty. Shoot. Okay, so obviously as is. As is. Um, I'm thinking like $7.99. I think that's a great idea. Um, so this one was $2.99. It's just a pretty oh, sweet. metal box. I'll probably just clean it up, to be honest. I kind of... Yeah, the silver's nice I, I mean, that. I think the silver is, is just nice, and metallics are in this year. So. Yeah, for sure. And a piece of milk glass. If you love your milk glass. I do. This was... $2.99. $2.99, okay. And I'll probably is. sell that for $12.99. Is it a vase or a celery crisper? What? Is it a vase or a celery crisper? Uh, I don't know if it's a base or a celery crisper. A celery crisper? Is that what you said? You put water in it to keep your celery in it. So oh my gosh. Your celery stays alive. My mom's mom used to do that for her. Every time she'd come to visit, she'd have a celery stick and a carrot stick and water on her windowsill for her every time. It was so cute. My little so nanny. this was $3.99. Um, I oh, love the pattern. Cool. I probably will go ahead and paint this, but then distress it so that exactly. the silver comes through. Um, it's kind of very inexpensive. Kind of a very inexpensive um, looking piece, so I don't think it'll sell for very much unless we paint it. But I think the patterning in it, once it's painted, will be really beautiful. And then I have another little sconce. Um, this is where plants used to be. I don't know if we'll take the thing off and, and put a shelf on it or if we'll try mm -hmm. to do a floral, but it was only $1.99. I figured it was well worth. Oh, that's cute, yeah. Pretty picture with a pretty frame. Yeah. Three ninety nine. So um. What's the thought on that? So this one, I'm gonna take it up uh, to okay. the camera. I would like opinions on yeah. this one. This okay. is hand painted, and do we paint it? Do we not? You know what? Let me see the frame. What's the frame look like? I think. I better. think honestly, it's in lovely shape that we start out not painting would be my thoughts what yeah do you think i mean that's kind of how i'm leaning put it up for sale so it was 3.99 i'm thinking more like 14 16.99 somewhere in there it's signed in the back too yep it's signed yep. and i think that customers may really love this as mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. and so if we sell it great if it doesn't sell in a few months then we paint it mm -hmm. but um and we have a lot of pieces like that that we thrift that we kind of go. Oh, it's iffy. Do? Let's see. How about we just clean it up and put it out. But doesn't sell. sell then we can paint it. Yeah, right? exactly. So I would love to hear your opinions mm -hmm. as to uh, what you think on this one. Do we paint it or do we leave it? And who's watching us, by the way? Anybody? I see Jeannie Morris. Hi there. Good afternoon. Oh. Thanks for watching. Oh. Where are you heading? Lori Crouch is saying enhance the high spots of the framework wax. The highlight. Oh, I like Ooh, that. Very clever. Yeah, I agree. Zhuzh yeah, the up. frame is just so, huh? Zhuzh it up. Zhuzh Zhuzh it up. up. Thank you, Miss Sue. That's okay. how you use that word. So I have two of these panels. I'm just going to hold them this way so the camera can see them better. Um, the center is peeling off. Mm. So, oh, look at that. Peeling or peeled off? Peeled off. So my thought is we paint it, we put a transfer in the middle, mm. and uh, we've got two lovely panels. 
I paid $6.99 for these. I'm thinking they'll be close to 20 bucks a piece bucks a, yeah, a um, once we've got them painted. Perfect. Is the, they're, they're both the same? Just both the exactly same the same. Gotcha. Awesome, awesome. That works. You've got your little collection of crosses. Everyone lately has been asking about crosses. These were a great find. $1.99 each with a white tag. Were they half off of that, did you say? So they were 20% off. Okay, so these are just all kinds of different sizes of these. And on these too, do we paint them or do we put them in this? the finish, let me bring a couple up there. The finish on these are just kind of old world. I think the paint's off, not uh -huh. others. Like look at the I don't know. I world. think they're a good collection. Somebody might actually buy them all. I kind of like. Yeah, I kind of think these are one of those things that we wait and see. We wait and see. And we just put them on the floor and then just put them all. In, you know, hang them up together on the wall as a grouping and see what happens. Okay, I'm just gonna be weird real quick while you're painting. Yeah. I gotta give you guys a close-up look. How cute is he? Okay, I'm done now. All right. So. Oh, did you, did you introduce our monkeys? Oh, I did not. <laughs> They've just been standing there. So these guys, what did you pay for these guys? These are $6.99 each. I wasn't going to buy them until I saw the second one. Can you see them? Are they cool? Their coloring is actually beautiful. Yeah, and that's another one of those. Do we paint them? Or do well, that's why I said to Sue, them. she looked at them. She's like, oh, I like the coloring. I'm like, well, maybe you paint them. She's there like, I don't know. on the bottom, but I don't recognize it. Civics or might have been three monkeys at one point. Um, could be where they could freeze like that. All right, so here's what I have been told that I get to do to the pineapple. I'm reaching across you. You asked, I agreed. I think this pineapple needs to be coastal. He's going blue, not duck egg, regular blue. What's the well, not regular blue. Well, that's true. What is, I don't know what I'm Are deciding. you gonna do Key West or are you gonna do Beach House? I'm doing Beach House. I'm gonna use Bungalow 47 chalk paint in Beach House. You can see the color hanging off the side there. I am of course going to use, you know what? For this I'm not because there's a lot of detail and I think I prefer kind of a rounder tip brush like this. But well, normally, sometimes a firm brush. Yeah. Like the, the, the Klingons are great, but they're not very firm. So yeah. sometimes when you have to get into deep detailing, yeah. they may not be the best just because they're a little, because they're used to being in water and they're made to be in water, right. they're a little more, I don't want to use the word flimsy because that's not right. No, I mean, they hold a lot of paint. Um, but they're a little, they're just less firm. They're, and they're, you know, it's hard to explain. They're, they're great brushes, they're but great, I just yeah. like, I mean, I don't feel comfortable doing this with those brushes. I don't know why. I think the bristles spread out a little more and you can't get in the detail as much. So yeah, they're just not as stiff. They're a little softer. I'm do it with this one now. Softer. They're softer. They are softer. Again, not dissing the Klingon because that's, that's that's our favorite. My yeah. favorite. And why is it our favorite? Because it cleans itself. Who doesn't like that? Ah, uh, who could not love a brush that cleans itself? I'm telling you. I wish I had a kitchen that cleaned itself. What is it? Um, one, of, right. uh, one of our friends who's usually on here, Connie. I don't know if Connie's on here or yeah, not. Yeah, I haven't seen Miss Connie. Um, she was here for a class and she picked up, she had special ordered some Klingons because um, we were running low and she wanted some uh, before we got our order in. And so she had some set aside so when she came into her class, she could pick them up and we wouldn't sell out. And she messaged me over the weekend after she used them and she's like, who wouldn't love these brushes? She did. <laughs> They're great, they really are. Um, I'm using Bungalow, like I said, this is our chalk paint that we carry here. No prep work needed, I just cleaned this off a little bit, and that's about it. Um, we will have to seal it. I think I'm gonna go yeah, ahead here's and where I am on white wax it. Oh, that's cute. So, what, are you, what color are you going, Bungalow I'm 47? I'm going with Bungalow 47, and I believe I have Clawfoot. Gotcha. Yep, Clawfoot Tub. Okay. Which I, I love Clawfoot Tub. Yeah, that's a nice neutral for their line. If you saw our video recently where we um, did frames, where Sue and I did frames, this pattern is actually on one of those frames. Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna actually paint this to match that. Perfect, group them together mm -hmm. out on the floor. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, see this brush gets into all the details nice. And I don't know, who doesn't like a blue pineapple? I'm just trying to kind of zhuzh it up, make it a I mean, little I don't peachy. know if I'd want to eat a blue pineapple. It smells like a cocktail. Well, Maybe not. It does sound like a cocktail. <laughs> oh, I might have just made up a drink by accident. The blue pineapple. Is that okay, a thing? In, that case, I, in that case, I might want it. Is that because a thing? <laughs> Who knew? It sounds like a good cruise drink. It really does. Oh, pineapple. That's like or my a bar. favorite. It could be a bar. The blue pineapple. Girl, 
Yes, it could. So if you're pumping. The nah. things we right. come up with while painting. Clearly we're wanting a drink or something. Yeah, I'm actually really thirsty now. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, that was a whole terrible rule of no drinking at work. What's up with that? And yet, that. and yet, if you go into our kitchen, you'll find that it's stocked liquor. Um, and wine glasses, which I actually had a glass this afternoon with my lunch of water, but it was in a wine glass. Yeah, she was drinking fancy. fancy water today. I felt fancy. I had my it wasn't even fancy water. It was Brita <laughs> water from the fridge in her wine, in a wine glass. glass. I had my Tupperware container of leftover rice and chicken and a wine glass of water because that's how I rolled. Miss Well Behaved. Right? Well. Well, secretly, nutritionally well behaved. Yes. Well, that and that's all I had in the house, and I didn't go shopping yet. But we're gonna go with nutritionally well, well behaved. Yes. How much was the buffet for from last week? On uh, ninety five, and it's against the back wall. That's just haven't got a tag yet. Yep. Yeah, we were just um, and somebody asked actually on Facebook about posting the finished picture of the buffet that Melissa and I did last week with the stain top and the neutral base, and we will. Definitely do that. Um, Melissa's really good about getting pictures out of new items. Um, somebody's asking about it in the store right now. Unless we sell it right now, in which case we won't. Yeah, and that's, we'll still send you pictures we'll and go like, hey, look what you well, missed. Will we? Because we we'll, won't we'll be able to get pictures of oh, pictures. I will. What, what? I'll chase it down and get a picture chase for Chase it down. Yep, it's against the wall back there and it's actually got no smalls or anything on it right now. I just kind of put it there to let its loveliness shine through. So, yeah, but it did come out really lovely. It did. It did. And that video dropped on YouTube today. Awesome. I don't get on YouTube much except for our stuff. I gotta I gotta make a habit of doing that more. Yeah, you're on more to YouTube more than you're on YouTube. <laughs> I know. I know. It's true. I just I'm one of those people where I don't have Pinterest. I don't look at Pinterest because I would go down. Oh yeah, you can't. We, we won't let you look on. Pinterest. I would probably drool and be in the fetal position for hours if I was on there because yeah. I just have no attention span to anything. If I was on that, that would be it. Like I wouldn't be able to do nothing else. Yeah, so. you would, you would, it would not be. I mean, it might benefit the store because yeah, I get sure, ideas. Sure, of course. Can I create a Pinterest page for you and get pictures of everything you bring in? Well, no, that's a thought. Yeah, yeah well, you don't have to look at it. It'll just be out there. That's a thought. Well, I know what else is out there somewhere, not Pinterest, but on Instagram, I think there's some page dedicated to my parking Ability? Oh, did John do that? Maybe disability. What's that, Lily? I believe it's Instagram. Yeah, it, it's yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it's a page. I might have once or twice parked. Not. Uh, I feel like that page must have been made by my husband. I don't think there's any doubt about it in my mind. Yeah, I, I'm. I drive a Dodge Ram. I drive like a champ. Parking. Not so much. Which I should say, John had never driven a truck. Yeah, let's talk about that. And he can't park my vehicle for crap. And she's fantastic at driving it and parking it. Which I don't see how. You're a short little smidge just like I am. I have a great Napoleon complex. Oh, I <laughs> yeah, I just have a insecurity of big vehicles and trying to see over them complex. But I, 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 feel, I feel frequently that I, I have to uh, show myself as large since <laughs> I am small. Since you're little in stature. I'm working on you know, everything else. I, I'm working on not being able to say small anymore just because, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, we just won't talk about that. No. Let's just call it my love of cupcakes. Oh, who doesn't love cupcakes? Ow, okay. Um, if you're painting a candlestick and there's a little hook thing on the top there where the candle goes, watch that. Yeah, it's pro probably not the best idea to watch that. To put that, you know. I hurt myself more on fixing things. I, I'm still scarred from the dang heat. <laughs> You'll be scarred for life on that one. I'm, I'm a peach though. Like you can just pluck me and I. Oh burst. yeah, we didn't. We didn't even know that she burned herself either. No, I was like, good. She was so good. I was acting right there. I don't she even think you made a face about it. I kind of, I, I to myself was like, like that, and then I to myself thought, shoot, did they just see me flinch? Nope. You know why? Show no pain. <laughs> Show no pain. Acting, and then afterwards I was like, gah, 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 gah. bleep, bleep, bleep. Yeah. Yeah, it's not pleasant. Look at my blue pineapple. I like it. I like it. It's, uh, it's taking me a little longer because I'm trying to get in all the detail, but I think a little well, light yeah, stress. I mean, things that have nice. a lot of detail, you know, they're great because um, they, they look really nice once they're waxed or glazed because uh -huh. it all gets in there. Yep, yep. 
Stuff. And I've actually been enjoying the wax or the glazing more than the waxing, personally. I've got my little box of glaze over here. Just got a whole selection going on. Um, Wise Owl, which we sell all of their glazes. And actually, I have all of their one hour enamels in the back of my truck right now. Do you? So that'll come up when this is done. Yay. I didn't want to, we're trying to clean up around here. We're doing um, really well. We're doing really well. So I'm trying not to flood things too much, but. And I appreciate that, Melissa. So if right, give, her, give her a half a second to, <laughs> Let me breathe a minute. To, cl to clear the floor before I start bringing up more stuff. Yeah, it's all good. But those I'll probably just put over on the shelves over there. Okay. And then the tags go on them as. That works for me. Up, but they'll be out of the way and that will do it and i'll just have a little priceless and so i'm trying not to hear um i'm trying to just basically um batch paint these so that i'm not gonna paint this one yet because yeah. this one is a spray candidate in my opinion because it's got like lacing Ooh, inside that's a rough so one. i'll probably yeah. wait until our we've got the paint sprayer going okay and then push that one in there otherwise i'm just kind of batch painting these so that um, rather than using the heat dryer, I can just like whoop a whole bunch out. Well, are you cool with this color on another thing? Or yeah, sure. What are you thinking? Can I paint the monkey? Sure, I'll paint the monkey. We're gonna do the monkey blue. She's gonna paint the monkey. Paint that monkey. That's another drink, the blue monkey. The blue monkey, I'm telling you. Blue, I'm inventing a bar blue drinks. Apple at the blue monkey. Miss Sue, you're a genius. And now, now I really want to drink with pineapple in it. No, we're just really missing the cruise that we were supposed to go on. Yes. On. Few weeks yeah. ago, back in April, we were supposed to go on a cruise. Ugh, that's just, that's just unfortunate. We've now had to cancel two cruises. Really? What was the other one? Oh, coming up, you mean? No, the other one was was supposed to be last November. Oh, somebody decided to, to get, get married. married. Oh, that's right. When we booked the cruise, she was like, "Oh, we weren't we aren't getting married till next year." So we thought, "Okay, November, no problem." And then what she actually meant by next year was next winter. <laughs> and it was like January. Ew. So it was next year. I got engaged in December and got that's, married in November. Okay. That that's, was the cause of the first cancellation cruise, the voice back there. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> So um I'm calling you under the bus there, Miss Lily. So we canceled that and we're like, okay, well we'll go for my birthday because you know, instead of so it won't be that far away. Right. It'll be like four months. We can, you know, five months. Yeah. Um, there could be nothing that would happen in that time nothing frame. Nothing that can happen in that time frame. More money to, you know, more time to save up a little money, right. get things back in order. And we knew we were opening the store. We figured four months was plenty of time to get everything. Get some stuff rolling get, on it. You know, get everything. You know, we'd have the big launch. Everybody would be trained. Mm -hmm. It would be no big deal if I went away because we've got good managers, good team. And then. And then. Dun, dun, dun. Well, we all know what happened from there. As Miss Jamie Ray would say, the, the situation world. happened. What's that, John? We hired you in the whole world market place. You know, can't park, but I can sure work a store with the blue monkey and a blue pineapple. Blue. It's awesome, isn't it? Look at him. He's cute. But you know what? You know what color it's not? Duck egg blue. What color blue is it? John have? Morrow. This is Bungalow 47 uh, Beach House Blue. <laughs> Which so, is not ducking. Not even close. Of course, when she white waxes it. When she white waxes it, it'll look like Might turn a little duck eggish. But no, you know it'll what? still be brighter. We sell duck eggs. We do. People, People love it. People love the color. So it's a beautiful color. It really, really is. It's not crazy blue. It's just, it's not neutral, it, but it's semi neutral. Like it gives you color, but not too much if you're not into the crazy color stuff. Can you believe it's already almost the end of the month? Nope. Nope, I cannot. I am excited about July 1st, though. July 1st? Hmm. It's as if we have a product launch in the works. I know, right? For that time frame. Golly you'll dang. be excited because you'll be able to take all that stuff from the back room <laughs> and put it on the floor. I surely will. Give me some space back there to put other new pretties. Which I give you all crap about that, but really it's like Christmas every time you bring something in and I get to see it. And then I put it out and we're all good okay I'm digging my blue here I'm just saying not many people are gonna have blue monkeys at their house that this will be like a one-of-a-kind thing all right where are you go okay blue monkeys could be a punk band we just said
that it could be the name of a drink. It could be a bar where you get served. No, we said, we're not at the Blue Pineapple Bar. Yeah. Well, then yeah. we said about Blue Monkey, and this is like the bar name could be Blue, Blue Monkey, where you, you go to get pineapple. a Blue Pineapple. All right. So I just did a little flip so I could get underneath. Thank you. This will probably need a second coat-ish, just kind of like a touch-up. But um, I think I'm going to just wet distress him a little bit, too, to get some of that dark back through. And he'll be good to go. Or she. I don't know. It could be a female monkey. So, yeah, I'm going to probably have to... We haven't sold those chickens yet. So, those chickens may go on the... Which chick? Oh, those in are the counter over there. there. Yeah. They may go on the list of... Of color. Time, of color. Of time to get painted. That would be cool. I like the chickens. I like the chickens too and they're they're definitely a country vibe so there's absolutely folks out there that would love them i used to have a kitchen full of chickens yeah key phrases used to yeah so now we need we need to clearly somebody else did too yeah. um <laughs> yeah and now they're with us and now they're with us all right so they might need to be they might need to be uh, all all painted up nice and pretty and then mm -hmm. And then find a new white doll in the... I agree. I think it could be done. Uh, it's probably too big. You probably don't want that one painted blue, do you? No, I really do want that one white. Okay. Um, I think all the candlesticks are probably white. Um, Before I... You can make a little box. Go okay. Ahead. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I love this little box. And I love... I've said this before. I love a dark wood like this. And then with a lighter color painted on top with it distressed through, it's just... It pops nice. Yeah. So... Tag off of here. I can't see if anybody's chatting today. Me either, but as you see the things on the table, is there something you would like to see us do with any of these items? Like a specific thing? Because we'll do it. I see Michelle Fittimore is watching. Hello, Michelle. Hello. Thanks for watching. So we're pretty excited. We found this program. We think we can. Um, Sue and I are going to play with it this weekend since she'll be home this weekend, right? Getting home this weekend? Oh, yeah. You sure? Um, okay, just ditch us. Aww. Aww. Um, <laughs> where we think we'll be able to stream live on, excuse me, stream live on um, YouTube. Okay. And while we stream live on Facebook. Because we fancy. We fancy. I would enjoy. You have to use two phones? No. But we could. But we could, but it would be different. We could actually, um, it'll be more like you'll be able to have set up a camera here and there so you can have up close look at our pieces as we're painting them and wide view. I like it. Um, it'll be more like a, like a true broadcast studio. Lookout world. So we're looking at that weekend and we're going to play around with that and if so that will also lead to um i don't know if you know hmm. but rave um rave home staging has a um uh, podcast i did know that so we actually will be able to start doing interviews with some of our staging colleagues oh very nice um, It'll work a lot like Zoom or what have you, but okay. we'll be able to start talking to some of our staging colleagues around the world awesome. and finding out more about their businesses and how they're thriving right. through the pandemic, what they're doing, how they've changed their business. And I've heard from a lot of stagers that their business models have changed quite a bit right. through the sense. pandemic. And so I'm curious to, to talk to them and hear how, you know, sometimes, sometimes in business, you have to be able to turn on a dime. That's not, yeah, got to be ready for anything. I mean, nobody could have been ready for this, but you just make it happen. Yeah, and I know a lot of them are using, um, like, uh, really Facebook Live and uh -huh. what have you to do, um, to do walk and talks and stuff like that, do staging consultations via phone, okay, and things like that. So it's funny how you sort of adapt. You know, like Patrick, my husband, a famous professional, and he obviously does a lot in person, and he had to change a lot of that to online, Zoom calls, things like that, but you make do. I mean, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. I'm curious to see how the, the world will change after this with so many people yeah. adapting this way, because I am sure that some of it is gonna stay this, I mean, some of it is not gonna be, go back to the old ways. And if it's working and maybe it saves 
money, money for you know the employer and it makes it a little easier for the employee to be able to do things from home. I mean, knowing that it could have happened like that all along, I don't know. My mom said she had a doctor's appointment today by the phone. Yep, I had one of those. I mean, it's that's that's kind of different, you know, but hey. If it's yeah, working. I mean, I just have them. I, I have, um, you know, I've been pretty open with it. I have. I suffer from anxiety and depression, right? Um, clinical, and um, I have to every three months. I have to get a new prescription because my refill is considered a controlled substance, right? And so the law requires that being a controlled substance that I go see my physician. They want to ask questions, make sure I'm not abusing it, correct? Make sure I'm taking it properly. Um, how is it affecting my health and body? And you know, I mean, honestly, I've I've been on it for a long time now. Right. And I, I sometimes feel like it's ridiculous to have to go just to get a refill. Like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Are they? They don't physically necessarily check you out, right? They just kind of. They're going to. They're going to ask. Yeah, they're going to ask me about. Yeah. Am I having any of these problems? And I can see them wanting to lay eyes on me once a year or something, or every six months, just to make sure that you know I'm clearly not abusing something. I don't look like a substance abuser. Exactly. You know? Exactly. But if I'm never trying to get more than dosage they're giving me, and right. I'm not never trying to refill it early or anything, then I'm clearly using it the way it's. Am I doing this with that color? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Vicky. Lori Crush says work from home is also a lot less carbon footprint no for yeah. the environment. No that's right. That's right. You're absolutely, absolutely right about that. I mean, it's all things that we don't think about. You know, you've just never thought about it prior to this, and now you can't help but think about it and wonder maybe this is just a better way. Well, and for those of us who are on the road a lot, um, as stagers, you know, we are on the road a lot, uh, it sure is nice not to have all that traffic. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. I will not miss that coming back. Yeah. yeah I know. I do. For sure. This is a big one. I like this a lot. Yeah, that one's got, there were two got of really, them. yeah, me too. But there weren't. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that there is a bit. Wanna work? Mm -hmm. can do it. Mm -hmm. Um, can I have the other yeah. twelve candlestick? You can. And this is a, this is a metal one. Yeah, that's oh, a nice one. one. And you'll notice metal, wood, Bungalow 47, yep. paints right on it. Yep, right on it, no problems at all. I'm flicking off some wax that was on here. But I'm not too worried if there's a little bit of wax residue on here and it chips off of there. Jeez, it's good. Yeah, we love to be so good. Works for me. And actually, we've, I think we've sold all of our white candlesticks right now, which is one of the reasons I chose white. It wasn't just to be like super boring, mm. but I noticed, yeah. I noticed the other day I was on the floor and, and, and I, I don't see what we sell every day, and even so, they're usually just entered in the in the register as you know candlesticks, not yeah. not what color they were or any of that, and uh, a medium candlestick or whatever. Right. And they're not labeled clawfoot tub white candlestick or anything. Yeah. And so I've known we sold a lot of smalls lately, but as I looked around to start merchandising some stuff downstairs, think, starting to think about the ad for the weekend. Because we do, we do a Facebook ad, uh, a really big ad every Friday to show what what's new in the store, so that people can come shopping. Because obviously, we want them to come shopping. We want you here. We want you here. Um, and there just wasn't much to much. Now there will be. We'll get all this out on the floor. I know another place that has this. I love this paint. And I love these brushes. It just yeah, loads well, this is brushes interesting. Up. This one, Ooh. the rust is bleeding. I was going to say, it looks pink. It's just pink. It's That's pink. wild. So sometimes we will see an interesting bleed. I've, huh. I've never had a candlestick bleed. That's so pink. So I'm going to set this one aside. It'll like still get white. Like your brush pink even. It, yeah, it did. Um, I'm going to set this one aside. And uh, I will have to put some primer on this brush mm -hmm. to block. So I'll use the Wise Out primer because that's our favorite. Mm -hmm. And I will use that to set it aside. So maybe I'll do a 
real quick video on what happens when something like yeah. this does. How That'll be after the fact and throw that up on Facebook or on uh, YouTube. That's pretty crazy. But it definitely is. I'm just going to set it aside so it can finish bleeding all its way. All and then All on its own. All on its own. Okay, so now I've kind of done my cash here, and most of this is is getting pretty dry. But some of these, again, where the server actually, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. And I was gonna we'll, say I have a heat gun over here. Do you want it? Yeah, I think it? I'm gonna try to go to the ones that are okay. already dry, and then some of these um, had a little more slick surface, and so just taking a little longer for them to dry. Okay, but I'll go ahead and hit the ones so that we don't have to waste time or sound. Yeah, on yeah. the heat gun. Yeah, it's not the most pleasant sound when you're trying to have a live conversation with folks but no, not so much it's all good so have you all done any thrifting what are your what are you looking for what do you guys what do you guys want what are you guys like in the market for are there things that you like to get to you know to paint for yourself are there things do you all like to do painting and flip like what, what, what kind of stuff do you like to do we love other people's ideas that just helps everybody everybody giving everybody ideas that's just creativity I love that. All right, this thing's tall. I have to stand up. <laughs> I can't get to the top. <laughs> Sometimes I get so focused in painting, I forget where we have people watching us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, now you're going to watch, like, I'm going to be up here. I'll be right back. <laughs> be right back with you. You're not missing much. I'm painting most of my fingers, some of my hair. You, you can probably lift it up a little, Sue, so that I see that Leah's, Leah's on watching us. Oh, hello, Leah. Hello, hello. How's that? Okay, we can see most of my head. I mean, I don't care if you see my head. You're not missing. I'm missing a whole lot. John Morrow, not a word. I didn't hear what you that, said. I yeah. wasn't going to give you any grief. Um, well, that seems unusual. Disappointed. <laughs> I don't think you're being accurate. Yeah, that feels, that feels almost like a... You know, you might have noticed that we give each other a hard time around here. <laughs> and it's just because we're all, oh my gosh, look how pink that is. It's all just because we're so pink. pink. Oh my God. That is craziness. You see? Wait, Why are you painting it? I know. I can't. Yeah. Did you, you paint it pink? It's no, that's no. the candle it's bleeding, bleeding through. That's flipping hysterical. And kind of cool. It is kind of looking neat. Yeah, so. Like just one random pink candlestick, I don't know how that would go, but if you had a set of them and ended up doing that, sure. I don't just be like, hey, why not? It's very interesting. interesting. It is. All right, so that is that. So when I'm painting to actually make a profit, this is basically how I do it. I just, I like batch everything. It's, it's quick and it's easy. I mean, it really is. And if you group things together of the same color and kind of stage them in a way that people would have them in their own homes, it kind of helps people visualize, oh, that would look cool. I, I have that color in my house. This would be a nice little grouping for my, for my home. She's buying that. You better go get a picture. Get a picture of it. Awesome. Friday's buffet is going out the door. It's gone. So One have less time you gotta make this, Lily. What? We might have to cut in front of your live because we yeah. can see all later. That's all right. Well, you guys might get a little glimpse of this little beauty. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna go and start my second coat real quick because I think most of my blue is dry. Oh, I'm so happy it's going to a nice home. Look, you're watching a sale. It's happening live because of our lives. Woo, woo, woo. Um, yes. Does it unopen kind of casement here? Yes, I have to give it to Oshinawaya. She wanted casement. Is that the only and one here? And I just discovered it. Okay, I was taking that toilet wheel, but yeah, I'll take it if she wants to buy it. Awesome. Miss Allison, I found a unopen jar of All right, so I'm on my second coat here. And then I think I'm just going to give a light distress to this and let that dark wood come through. And this little baby will be cute. It's just like a nice little trinket box. I mean, I always love old boxes just to put crap in. Plus, they look pretty sitting out. There we go. So we're, we're having a little paint crisis behind us. And, <laughs> and I really will be glad when, you know, that's one of the funny things that you don't think about with the pandemic yeah. is that the supply lines are crazy right now yeah and we're struggling to keep paint in stock because literally the manufacturers aren't getting the products that they need to produce the paint exactly and of course the most popular colors are even harder to get than normal so i mean on a normal day they'd be sold out and now they're just well and then and then diy is on an uptick because of course 
people are stuck at home. Right. And so they're like, hey, what should I do? What I should paint. I paint. Hey, where can I get my paint? Oh, gosh, why is that my board? Oh, Teresa, I forgot to tell you about another product launch. What is that? So it just came out. Um, it, we just got capacity to order it. So um, I am ordering some, some samples for myself to try in my kitchen. I will do a video on them. Okay. Um, but Wise Owl, which we carry, we got all the Wise Owl enamel here, right? Yep, yep. But I just put it in order because I just released a new Wise Owl ceramic. Ooh. It's supposed, okay. to, it's supposed to be a really strong ceramic paint. Okay. Um, right like now it's ceramic, you mean? Or what do you mean? No, like um, it's a ceramic paint, so like it's, like like it's got a hard finish to it. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Well, that's so cool. um, I'm going to try it on my kitchen cabinets at home awesome. when we get them in. Awesome. And I will do a little video about painting my kitchen cabinets. Just to see. Now, I'm going to try it. No, it does not. Even more awesome. Um, yeah, the sealer is built in and it's supposed to be like the super, super strong sealer. Okay. So I am excited about it. I'm going to do my island with the one hour enamel and then I'm going to do my other cabinets like with a colored one hour enamel. Okay. Um, I'm thinking like labyrinth or something, mm -hmm. um, something strong. And then I'm going to do sea salt, which is like a really soft coastal green okay. on my other cabinets. Oh, very nice. And so it'll be two tone. And uh, I will let you know what I think about the difference in both the finish and the like the prep and difficulty levels. Awesome. Is this a new product of theirs or it just It is new a brand to new us? product of theirs. Gotcha. They just launched. Nice. And it's supposed to be, um, right now it's only available in gallon size. Really? Because the primary um, thing that they recommend that you paint with it. Um, furniture, yes, of course, mm -hmm. but the big thing are cabinets and countertops. Like larger, commercial almost. Well, not commercial, but residential, but, but super large. You can cut in front of us. I don't know. Like or push it back so you yeah. can. That's what I mean. No worries. And uh, sorry, guys, we're going to move for a minute because you're going to see a buffet roll through. And make sure you whistle. Ooh, ah. Uh, um, it's a pretty one. I want to see the lovely. But also, they home. want it for um, painting your walls, for like yes. the wall paint. Seriously. Seriously, so okay. that you have a super washable, durable finish. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, you are so welcome. Say goodbye. Take pictures when you get that home oh, or when you get a over the window. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yay. Yay. Oh, I'm say so goodbye glad. to our lovely buffet. Bye. Goodbye, buffet. Snap you a few pictures. Don't forget to write. Oh, it's so pretty. We're so happy for you. Wait. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I said the little out the door. I literally love to see that. I love to see people see our vision and, and loving it as much as we yeah, do. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, come here, big pineapple. Do you like the blue pineapple, Miss Lily? Yeah. The blue monkey? Monkey, monkey! I literally almost took that downstairs to stage it, and I didn't. I probably should have. Well, In hindsight. No, because now they got to do it for you. That's true. That's true. That's yeah. one last thing. Yeah. Good point. Good point. We do need to do it for me, though. Yes, we do. We'll have to see when the guys are available for her. And when Miss Anna is back in the office here with us, she's a good merchandiser along with you. Yeah, That's we've got Katie, eye. one of our staging assistants, mm -hmm. downstairs hanging her work. Yes, she's doing awesome. a nice art wall because we just got a new vendor who does amazing. I really just paint my hand. <laughs> I literally just painted my hand. Sorry, just paint your hand. <laughs> I think I just spat paint everywhere. Nice like it just hit my brush and went. I I mean, look, at, I've got colors on me that I haven't used in two days, and I I do shower mm -hmm. whether I need it or not. But um, yeah, so Katie's doing down doing her artwork because we got a new vendor. Beautiful who work does stunning nature photography mm, gorgeous and um uh it's like photography of all the local stuff mm -hmm. beaches and some different sunsets and, and bridges areas. and marshes yes. and uh definitely beautiful you'll for sure see those in our ad photos this week yeah maybe we'll do spotlight her as a, a vendor showcase yeah, yeah. especially when kitty gets all hung up yes. we just got tags on it and um uh, everything's getting hung today so now we'll be able to kind of put those up. Beautiful work. And her name's Teresa. 
She goes by Terry, but her name's Teresha. Ter Ter Teresha? You don't even know how to say your own name, lady. <laughs> her name is Teresa, and she spells it without an H, same as me, because mm -hmm. our parents are awesome. Yeah. So, just throwing that out there. All right, I'm digging my pineapple. It just, it's just nice and it's whimsical. It's a nice little pop. And isn't it nice that just with, like, some paint you can take things that and it's funny because John was helping me unload this stuff from the car today because I went thrifting yesterday but I left it in my car until today without me but anyway um yeah I went thrifting without her yeah um but I did leave it in my car today so that you know I was kind and didn't make a big mess for you until today well, that's true finish it that's true I appreciate that so you know I was thinking about you you were I did you always have my back and uh and he's like but just this stuff because he's looking at the befores right mm -hmm. Don't mind me. Are you painting yourself again? Lady? I match me now both pants. You're 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 just a hot. Wait, what color is that? That's copper. When did I? You were painting uh, horse today. <laughs> with a sponge. With a sponge. How a sponge. do I get? You know, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are. So I many think I shall refrain from comments. I was gonna say there are so many answers to that question. I feel confident that's not something you would like me to answer. <laughs> All right, I feel like, because it's just, we're, oh, there's another one. My we're, mama said, if you ain't got nothing <laughs> nice to say. I'm coming up here because I feel like we're winging it because we don't have anybody with our comments, so I want to make sure I'm not missing anybody. You could probably move us closer, too. Okay. Because Lily moved it back so that the buffet could roll by. All right, we're going a little closer. I don't know if that's yeah, good. Yeah, Can you see? Yeah, you're good. There Is that good right there? Okay. And hello, everybody. Can you see now how? Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. This anybody. is. That, look at that. That I like it. I mean, I'm just gonna put that out there. That's so funny. Like it. It made all the way down into your. It, the whole dang thing is pink. That's hysterical. It's hysterical. I love that. All right, I got my blue done on my second coats here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start um, wet distressing these pretty soon. I think. Yeah, I think I am going to stick another coat on at times. Candlestick white. I'm not sure what time we are at, actually. We are 47 minutes. All right. All right. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do the last coat on this one, and all mine will be second coated. Okay. And then I shall go to the wet distress. See how much more we get done when, one, we do a little, we start a little sooner on the painting part. Right. And two, when, <laughs> when we're batch painting. And so three, when we don't have to dry things, we can just, we just chatty. go, oh, I know, we just have to chat at the beginning and then we don't get quite as much done. I know, I know. We have that problem. We have that problem here, not just when you guys are, when you guys are there, we, it's not just you, it's us. No, it's us for sure. It's for sure us. I can't help it though. I'm a very chatty person. Like my husband in the morning, I'll, this is how our conversations go. This morning, for example, I got up. He's walking out of bed, he stands there. I'm like, babe, we need three bar stools and the countertop is 42 inches. Do you think 30 inches height for the bar stool seats is okay? And do you like this color blue with the metal? And his answer was, I'm like, as always, good talk. I'll work it out, thanks. You don't talk to him in the morning. You don't talk to me in the morning. He's not very talkable. I, meanwhile, wake up like a clatterbone in a duck's ass. That's an old phrase from That's my family. That's an interesting phrase. Yeah. So I kind of don't stop. Yeah, John is like that. Like, if I if I move, if I move at all in bed, <laughs> like, just roll over. If you get up and you go pee, mm -hmm. and you come back to bed and he's awake, <laughs> he immediately thinks that means... Let's have a conversation. Let's chat. You're awake. You're awake. Oh my it's god. Like your, it's like your jog when you come home, you know? <laughs> You're awake. You're awake. Let's talk. I haven't seen you all night. I've been sleeping. Oh my gosh. And again, you know I watch a lot of YouTube videos uh -huh. at night while I'm sitting working on my computer. And for whatever reason, BK is seriously doing some pushes on YouTube. Who, what? BK uh, Burger King. Oh, gotcha. Oh, ooh, Burger King. They are doing some serious pushes on on YouTube. I <laughs> And I would just like to say that one of their commercials is, um, is it worth being woken up for a BK 
breakfast croissant. If anybody comes knocking on my door in the morning with a BK breakfast croissant oh. while I'm sleeping, I'm That's, going to beat you with it. It's not going to end well. I don't think that would end well. Can I have the scissors? You can have the scissors. Did you want them in color? In I just need to cut this. <laughs> They'll probably be a little blue, a little copper, a little white on them. I'm, I'm just like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It depends on what time they want to wake me up with a BK sandwich. If mm. it was like 9.30, I'd be like, come on in. No, if, I'm, I'm, if I'm still sleeping. It's not the right time? It's not the right time. That's my basic rule of thumb. Right. Now, I, I get sense. that if a customer calls, I have to take the call. Right. It's reasonable. It's a reasonable work hour. Right. But, like, I, no, don't come to my door. <laughs> uh, no. Don't come to my door with pizza. Now, I mean, if you come to my door with cold pizza and Oreo cookies, <laughs> I'll answer 24 <laughs> 7. I got no issue. If you don't if mind a robe, like, I don't mind kind of You know, if they went to Grumpy's and got like a friend, like the like a stuffed Grumpy. French toast, mm, now, you can, now, now we can think about knocking on my door. I haven't been to Grumpy's since I worked in Orange Park. I just don't go over there. Raina Gaston is now watching with us. I got a cute. Raina Gaston. Oh, nice. Hi, Raina. Hello. Thanks for joining us. What you thinking of our projects that um, so I'm starting to wet distress nice. pulling that texture back out on this piece that was a great piece to do that with so to wet distress in case you're not familiar you just get a rag very lightly damp so you don't really want much water in there um, and you're just going to kind of pull off sections mm -hmm. and mostly I'm trying to pull off the embossing in this case right so the leaves pop out. I'm trying to keep most of the background intact. It is pulling some of it off in some places, um, but I'm not. I'm not overly worried about it. But mostly, I want the leaves. And I hate to do this to y'all, but I'm gonna just for two seconds give a quick heat gun action to my pineapple because I want to try and white wax it while we're still alive. Yeah, absolutely. So that one's wet distressed. What do you think? I'll take it up there. You do that because I need to do a little more drying or this isn't going to happen right now. Come on, buddy. Super cute. And so for my stager friends, this is a great thing to do with outdated inventory. Sit down one afternoon and just paint it all a nice creamy color like this. Give it a little wet distress. Get your and it um, kind of comes back to useful in your inventory. 
So I'll keep it. cover a um, piece of furniture <laughs> basically I'm afraid to touch anything I don't even know all right so I'm not wet distressing this because I dried it pretty good only because I would like to get white wax on this real quick before we go off but I'm going to use just an actual piece of 220 grit sandpaper just a really super light really light because this is metal so I don't want the metal shine to come through but I do just want a tiny bit of the dark to come through like super little because it's really detailed, but I think the white wax will take care really of more of the detail. Yeah, I think it's easier to have light, um, light distressing with sandpaper most of the time. Yeah. And wet distressing tends to take off a little bit more in my opinion. So it really depends on, right. on how heavy you want your distressing to be and whether you're afraid of pulling anything off underneath. Exactly. And sometimes I'll actually do both. I'll wet distress some bigger areas and then go on with the sandpaper on some smaller areas. If I don't, I'm afraid of taking too much off. <laughs> you need a wet towel. <laughs> I need a bib. She and just can't keep it on in the dryer. I missed the spot. We can dress her up, but we can't take her out. Hey, look how pretty I match. My left matches my right. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, um. Which I were wax, where would I have put me? You oh, right here. Gotcha. All right. So let's give this a go. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me move my other items as they dry. Oh, no. We got blue on him? He might have blue on his little party hat. We can wipe it off. But that'll come off because it's chalk paint and it's water based so it'll come right off of water. That's right, and we haven't sealed it yet. And, okay, I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> you can't touch that, boom. <laughs> you can't, you really can't take it anywhere. Can you actually see this on camera? Okay, I'm gonna hope for it. I've been learning how to edit the YouTube videos. So, like oh Facebook, God. we're live here, but on YouTube I've been learning how to edit. And so I've been interjecting fun little slides now so oh, oh dear <laughs> so <laughs> so youtube is the enhanced version of these oh, oh dear we're we're in interject gifts and stuff to our conversations you're getting pretty good even with your little tiktoky things i saw that little tiktoks that you've been putting up with our painting mm -hmm. stuff very nice very nice oh i love that white box oh, it just really makes it and i'm applying with a chip brush because because that's what I want to do. I mean, obviously you can apply it with a wax brush or with just a rag. I'm taking it and wiping it back with a sponge. You could use a rag, you could use whatever you like. I want to be careful because I don't know if this paint's fully dry, so I don't want to pull off too much of the paint. Yeah, we were gonna have to give Sue some other, maybe she could do with the sponge because she always pulls all the paint off when yeah. she's... The sponge is nice, it, you can kind of dab <laughs> even. And then it will set dry whenever you know it's all done. But this way it gets into the detail. I'm excited to get the little leaves here. But Sue, Sue was super good at at um and distressing and waxing. Yes, yes. Yeah, distressing and waxing at the same time. So pretty. And plus, wax gives a nice, like, you know, just a nice smooth finish. And really, anything will let you sand up first. But hi. All right. That pink candlestick is still cracking me up. It's it's more pink. It's you know what? Here's what's happening. Here's what's happening. I gotta take that up front. Or did you already do that? I mean, not in a while. Mm -hmm. So show them that pink candlestick. I, when I say pink, it looks like we painted it pink. You should bring up the pink drawer. And it looks like speckly <laughs> pink. Like it looks intentionally pink, maybe with um sponge finish on it or something. That's hysterical. Yeah. I don't know if that helps. No, it doesn't help much. Well, that helps me not be blind. Well. Anyway, it's so pink. It's pretty. You can we'll see the base is white. We'll take a picture of, of that and post it just to show you guys how silly. Pink. That's so funny. It is for sure. Me up. That's, I mean, it's not it's even like rust looking, like it would be orangey. You would think, 
That is flat out. Yeah, it wouldn't match my drawers back there. Yes, yeah, you should take up a drawer and just show them the difference. Or show them the similarity, similarity rather. Yeah. It is pink. It's so cute. All right, well, pink, pink. Watch me drop this drawer. Don't do it. After everything I've done to it. Don't drop your drawer. That's the pink drawer I've been drawer. working on. I was going to let you say that. Yeah. I won't be dropping my drawers. Don't drop your drawers. I mean, it's a little lighter. It's so but funny. But we're in that pink family. I can't say that I've ever seen that happen with no, a of all the things. Of all the things. It's very funny. It's very funny. All right. Probably do a little more white wax on this, but I'm just going to let it sit and make sure all my paint underneath is dry, but I'll come up close to give you kind of an idea of what this looks like with the first coat of wax. And remember, this was, what, brown? See, it's got the blue with the little wax detail. And I'll wipe some of that off. So yeah, it just gives it a nice coastal, whimsical vibe for a pineapple. I like it. Well, and in the South, the pineapple is a symbol of hospitality. Hi. Live in the South and did not know that. Yes. I just thought it was a symbol of yummy. I mean, it is a symbol of yummy, but yeah, like it is a symbol of hospitality. Gotcha. So that's one of the reasons why you see so many pineapples in the south. Okay. Yeah. And when I say hospitality, I don't mean like the hospitality industry. I just mean like like welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Gotcha. That's why my company in Charleston, um, which while we are further south, is a much more southern city. Right. In Charleston. Okay. It's yeah, a much more southern makes, city than makes sense. than anywhere in Florida, even though Florida is geographically so, more southern. <laughs> that makes total sense. Um, why our symbol was a pineapple for our staging company. Oh, First impressions had a cool, lovely pineapple. I like that. Yeah. Bring some right. pineapple. I'm just gonna finish this one. I've got one more for this, but I'll kind of give you the give an idea. Oh, this turned out really cute. Really pretty. Yeah, what distress? I love that. It just it, you have so much more control. So much more gentle. It is. It doesn't affect the shape of anything with the sandpaper, or if you have, if it's metal, it's not going to pull down to the bare metal and give you that shine. It's funny because I always feel like it have, I have less control. It's always done. done. But um, but I do like the look a lot. Yeah. That just made them classy, coastal, and still neutral. Yeah, they do look a lot more refined mm -hmm. than their original. Do. Well, there it is. Boy, you can tell who's doing what where. You've got 17 things all done and neat, and I've got four things, and I'm wearing most of my paints. Welcome to my world, people. Cute. It's just got some really nice deep. Oh, <laughs> did you paint your phone? Yep. Oh my God. Sure did, but it's uh, chalk paint, so it should come right off. Let's see about that. <laughs> Let's see how well chalk paint comes off. Heather's watching, she's phone. freaking out right now. Okay, we're good. See, it comes right off. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm just not going to touch things anymore. I really love the detail on this one. Oh, that's pretty. That turned out pretty. So these were, what were they, like $5.99? I they mean, these were... are going to be close to 20 bucks a piece. Oh, now, easily. Yeah. Um, I actually sold a set of three of these that were, they were bigger, but like the, one of them was like that size, and then they were kind of three like that, mm -hmm. for $75. Oh, wow. When, um, once they were painted once. Yeah, I mean, like you said, just a little bit of paint can change things up, for sure. Okay, hey, we're we at our time. We're at our time. I'm just distressing, and we'll take pictures of all this, and we'll tag it all and get it on the floor. I'm sure you'll be seeing all of this in our upcoming Facebook. And Sue did take pictures of the dresser, so we will post those um, with a big old soul sign. Yay! That's so amazing. That's so I'm cool. I'm awesome. glad to see that. And she said she watched it, watched us paint it, and then came in and bought it. I think it. it's the first time, like, a piece of furniture, that's how we did it. Like, somebody actually watched, saw the techniques. I know that it was small, but I think it's the first time a piece yeah, of furniture. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you had a good time. We hope you were entertained and you learned something. And um, any of the products you're interested in, 
please uh, visit ravehomestaging.com, or excuse me, mm -hmm, wrong company, ravehomecollection.com Rave Rave um, for this and join us on YouTube for some videos that you may not be seeing on Facebook that I'm posting solely on YouTube. And of course, uh, if you go to YouTube, be sure to hit the, what is it they say, smash. Is that what they say? They say smash that like button. That's what the kids are saying these days. I don't know why we can't just tap it nicely. I mean, just just just, just tap it thing. nicely. Okay. Um, but okay. otherwise, uh, you smash that like button. Smash it. Smash it. Like Hit the that. bell so that you're reminded of um, anytime we post a video and uh, subscribe to us. Thank you so much for your support. We love you guys. Keep an eye out for us, and we will see you on Friday for Fab Furniture Friday. Let's see if we can sell out these furniture too. Yeah, man. Yeah. Peace out. Bye, guys.